Hey, it's Sandra Miller, your health coach, and I just put out a video about quality fish oil supplements and how to choose one. And I wanted to do um, a little bit on each of the vitamins and minerals that I feel are important for a healthy diet that we just don't get from our food today because our food is really depleted of minerals. The soil is depleted. Um, it's just not the same food that we were eating 60 or 100 years ago. So we kind of have to put back what our food is missing. So I came up with a list of several of the most important vitamin or minerals that I think are important in the healthy diet and most of the functional medicine practitioners out there typically recommend similar and for the same reasons. So here they are. A multivitamin is obviously the first one and you can find a good multivitamin or you can actually get a couple of different vitamin and mineral components that you can put together on your own because everybody's body is different. We all need a variety of vitamins and minerals, both very, very important. Some of the vitamins we will get from our food, but not always. If our diet is inconsistent, it can be difficult. So supplementation is typically necessary for everybody. The B vitamins are of special importance to me. I've written an article on it. You can check that out at www.biohackingwellness.com if you want to. It's actually a two-part article because there's a lot to be said about the B vitamins. I cannot tell you the health challenges that people can face if they don't take the right type of B. So we'll be talking about that more in the future. Minerals are critically important. They're found in soil, they're found in water. Our nerves actually conduct messages with water, light, magnetism, and minerals are a conductor for our body. So very important that we have the right minerals in our body and of course, along with water. Magnesium is also going to get a special place all of its own because it's an extremely important nutrient that probably over 60% of us are deficient in and it's important for over 400 different responses in the body. So it's something that we really need to get through our diet or through supplementation and not any old magnesium supplement will do. So we'll be eventually talking about the best ones to choose and why. When it comes to vitamin D, quality, as always, is important. Now, a lot of people already take a lot of pills or supplements, and they don't want to continue to pop pills. And I have to say, I would agree with you. It's a pain to have to keep popping pills. Anytime you have a pill, you have an opportunity for some kind of a substance you probably don't really need in your diet. You know, veggie caps are uh, really the most innocuous of all the things that could contain your supplements. Some people are vegan or vegetarian and they don't do gelatin. And just those caps typically have a lot of additives to them. So when it comes to vitamin D, I don't like mine in a capsule at all. I actually like a liquid. And I'm gonna show you the one that I use and it's called Carlson Daily D. Now Carlson Daily D is really, really easy because all I have to do is take the cap off and I, if I wanted to, I could put it in my food, but I'm not going to do that. I could put it on my hand and wait for a drop to come out. And when the drop comes out, it would be coming. It is a meter dose, so it does take a few seconds. Here it comes for the drop to come out. Oh, I got two. One's on my thigh. And all you have to do is take that and lick it. Done for the day. Now, you can do that in multiple doses of the drops if you need to reach a certain place. Now this one happens to be 4,000 IUs. So I probably wouldn't take that more than three or four times in a week if I'm getting sunshine. But the or this version is so easy, there's really no taste. You can put it under your tongue or you can just lick it off your own hand and you are done, no pill. Now, before you start to take vitamin D, although it is a critical nutrient, you really should have your vitamin D levels tested first. There is a test that your doctor can do, and it's the hydroxy vitamin D test, and most doctors will do them. They're pretty inexpensive. So get yours tested. Know where you're at. Supplement smartly. Another thing about vitamin D 
If we take sun onto our skin, if you wash within about 48 hours, you will wash off all of your vitamin D making production that's happening on the surface of your skin. So if you get vitamin D by the sun, just don't shower with soap for 24 or so hours after the exposure. You want that to be able to form into vitamin D. It's a very important process and it does take time.